From about September of 2022, Catron are changing the OCUs for the Remtron legacy line. The original OCUs are no longer available and Catron are introducing a much updated uh, set of controllers using the latest technology and uh, with this change uh, it also brings a different way to program the units. With the original Remtron push button controllers the programming would be changed using a REC15 controller and a wire would be plugged into the unit uh, and, and making the change over a, uh, a wired connection. With these new units, they're programmed using a Bluetooth connection, so wirelessly, and the controller stays closed. Uh, the software required to do that is Catron Link, and Catron Link is freely available on Catron's website. So you need to download Catron Link and install it on a Windows 10 or later machine that has Bluetooth capability. Once installed, you'll see a first screen, uh, as can be shown here, and in the inset, you can see a controller waiting to be programmed. From here, we go to the top right hand side, click on device, new device, and then come down to scan devices, and then start the controller simply by pressing the on button. The status LED will come up green, and the stop switch will not be flashing at this point because we haven't started the controller. Uh, this is the point at which Catron Link can be connected to it. It cannot be connected to a controller which is transmitting. So from this point, select the item, click connect, enter the default password which is 219547 uh, unless it's been changed by your organization and then click on OK. You'll notice in the insert that the status LED will start to flash blue and Catron Link will indicate that there is a connection being made. So the screen will change to this, showing the model type, uh, the firmware types uh, that are loaded, uh, and the, these top two lines will actually be your job number. Come down to this bottom icon on the left, which says Configuration, and click on it, and then click on Read. Here you will now see uh, the Remtron legacy code that your system is currently programmed with. The first two digits are the frequency and the last four digits are the address. You can see that 28 is programmed in here and that corresponds to channel 484 and specifically 914.1 MHz. If we need to change the 28 for instance to uh, a, another frequency and that can be anything uh, from 03 upwards so if I change it to 03 uh, in this case, uh, and click on set, you'll see channel 40 has been selected and 903 megahertz is now the frequency. In order to put that back into the controller, we need to go down here and click on write, accept, and the controller reboots and is taken on that new information. Uh, it's going to ask if you want to be connected or not. Again, um, normally you'd say no, but I'm going to say yes, just to a demonstration of an address change. So it's going to reconnect to the device. Uh, and now we're going to look at the address side. So we've got 0083 in the address side. If I click here on the address mode tab, you can see that I've got 0083. You can either directly change the address in there, or you could also do it through this Remtron Legacy Code box. So let's just pretend that we want to change the address from 0083 to 00AF, and we'll enter AF. We'll click on Set. And if we go back over to the Address Mode tab, you'll see that's now changed to 00AF. And we can click on Write. Accept. And again, that's updated the address now as well as the uh, frequency. I'm going to reconnect again to just show you one other thing here. So if we go to the RF control tab once it's reconnected, in here we can change the OCU automatic off delay, currently set to 900 seconds but it can be anything between uh, one second and 3,000 seconds, or if it's set to zero, it will not power down. 
Uh, OCO automatic off delay is the time after you have stopped touching any commands on the controller that it will power down. So we can change that to anything you need in there and then once we change it we write it to the controller. And the other thing here is the stop switch test. For Remtron legacy controllers it will be set to off. So the start routine will be to press the on button once to wake it up and then press the on button a second time to make it start transmitting. Uh, with other controllers, if you turn that function on, it means you have to press the on button to wake it up and then the stop and on in sequence uh, to go into transmit mode. So um, that's it for today. Uh, thank you for listening.